Let's start with the word problems based on work done. For doing some work, Ganesh take 10 days more than the job. If both work together, they complete the work in 12 days. Find the number of days if Ganesh work alone. See student. First, we can say, let the number of the days required for John alone to do the work be X. Therefore, work done by John in one day is 1 upon X. Now see, Ganesh take 10 days more. That means the number of days required by Ganesh alone is X plus 10 days. And the work done by Ganesh in one day, 1 upon X plus 10. Now see, they work together and complete the work in 12 days. That means we can say, number of the days required for both to complete the same work 12 days. That is work done by both in one day is 1 upon 12. So as per the given condition, we can form the equation. The work done by John in one day is 1 upon x. And by Ganesh, 1 upon x plus 10. And both will do 1 upon 12 work. So 1 upon x plus 1 upon x plus 10 is equals to 1 upon 12. Now we can solve this equation by cross multiplication. x plus 10 plus x plus upon x into x plus 10 is equals to 1 upon 12. So x plus x will become 2x plus 10. Now simultaneously you can cross multiply 2x plus 10 into 12 will become 24x plus 120 is equals to x square plus 10x. Now we can convert this in standard form. That is x square minus 14x minus 120 is equals to 0. Now we can factorize minus 120 so that subtraction will become minus 14 and the factors are minus 20 plus 6. So x square minus 20x plus 6x minus 120 is equals to 0. You can make group of two terms. From first two terms we can take x common in bracket x minus 20 plus from second two terms we can take 6 common in bracket x minus 20 is equals to 0. So the common bracket is x minus 20 in second bracket x plus 6 is equals to 0. So x minus 20 is equals to 0 or x plus 6 is equals to 0. Therefore, x is equals to 20 or x is equals to minus 6. The number of the days cannot be negative. Therefore, x is equals to 20. That means x plus 10 will become 20 plus 10 that is 30. So, Ganesh alone requires 30 days to complete the work. Tinu takes 9 days more than his father to do a certain piece of work. Together they can do the work in 6 days. How many days will Tinu take to do that work? Now we can write let the father, the number of days required for father alone to the work be x. Therefore work done by father in 1 day 1 upon x. Now, Tinu takes 9 days more. That means number of the days required by Tinu alone is x plus 9. Therefore, work done by the Tinu in one day, 1 upon x plus 9. Now, together, number of the days required by both to complete the work is 6 day. That means work done by both in one day. 1 upon 6. So as per the given condition, we can write the equation 1 upon x plus 1 upon x plus 9 is equals to 1 upon 6. Now we can cross multiply this x plus 9 plus x 
upon x into x plus 9 is equals to 1 upon 6. Now x plus x to x plus 9 we can cross multiply to x plus 9 upon x square plus 9x is equals to 1 upon 6. By cross multiplication we get 6 into 2x plus 9 is equals to 1 into x square plus 9x. So 6 into 2x, 12x plus 54 is equals to x square plus 9x. So we can write this in standard form. We get x square minus 3x minus 54 is equals to 0. Now we can factorize this minus 54. 9 6 uh, minus 9 into 6 so x square minus 9x plus 6x minus 54 is equals to 0. From the first two terms we can take x common in bracket x minus 9 plus from the next two terms we can take 6 common in bracket x minus 9 is equals to 0. So x minus 9 x plus 6 is equals to 0 x minus 9 is equals to 0 or x plus 6 is equals to 0 therefore x is equals to 9 or x is equals to minus 6 but the number of the days cannot be negative therefore x is equals to 9 that means x plus 9 will become 9 plus 9 18 tilu alone requires 18 days to complete the work so tinu requires 18 days the cost of bananas is increased by rupees 1 per dozen one can get two dozen less for rupees 840 find the original cost of one dozen bananas now see student we have to find the original cost of one dozen banana. So let the cost of bananas per dozen be rupees x. So amount for which bananas are brought rupees 840. That means number of dozens of bananas for rupees 840 will become 840 upon x. Now the cost of bananas is increased by 1 rupee per dozen. So the new cost of bananas per dozen is rupees x plus 1. So number of dozens of bananas for rupees 840. Now it will become 840 upon x plus 1. Now see it is given as for the condition if the amount is increased it, it we will get two dozen less bananas that means first we have 840 upon x then we have 840 upon x plus 1 so difference of this is equals to 2 so we can write the equation 840 upon x minus 840 upon x plus 1 is equals to 2 we can take 840 common in bracket you will get 840 into 1, up, 1 upon x plus 1 is equals to 2. Now we can solve the bracket by cross multiplication 840 into x plus 1 minus x upon x into x plus 1 plus x minus x get cancelled. So 840 into bracket 1 upon x square plus x is equals to 2. So 840 is equals to 2 into x square plus x dividing throughout by 2. We have 420 so we can write the equation in standard form that is x square plus x minus 420 is equals to 0. So you can factorize this minus 420 so that subtraction will be 1 and the factors are minus 20 plus 21 so x square minus 20x plus 21x minus 420 is equals to 0. We can make a group of 2's from first two terms we can take x common in bracket x minus 20 
and from the next two terms we can take 21 common in bracket x minus 20 is equals to 0. So x minus 20 common bracket second will become x plus 20 is equals to 0. Therefore x minus 20 is equals to 0 or x plus 20 is equals to 0. Therefore, x is equals to 20 or x is equals to minus 21. But see, the cost of bananas cannot be negative. Therefore, x is equals to 20. So, the original cost of one dozen bananas is rupees 20.